again on the currency issue, I think just the Canadian dollar is a sensible currency because if you look at the export mix of Canada, they're exporting energy. They, in fact, will be the second largest energy exporting country in the world after Saudi Arabia in 20, 2020 or so, in 10 years' time. They have a huge agriculture, so they're exporting food like we are. And then they have all the water that they can export. So their export mix is very, very similar to ours. If we then again look at the Arctic Council, the eight countries that have something to do with the Arctic and how that is harvested, it's quite peculiar that every single one of them has their own currency. Russians have the ruble, Finns have the euro, the Swedish, the krona, the Norwegian, another krona, the Icelanders, yet another krona, the Danish, the fourth krona, which is more or less a euro, but still, for Greenland, and the Canadian dollar and the American dollar. For this sort of homogenous area, I think it would make absolute sense to have a more unified currency for the area. And uh, that, of course, would bring about more unified sort of left, uh, services, trade, etc., within the area.